It doesn't get much better than Big Ten basketball. Michigan, as you see, has a rather impressive record in 76 Big Ten opening games. What a way, Greg, to open the season against your arch rival. I mean, you have to put the holidays behind you and get ready to go. And the Spartans are confident. Sean Rusper, 24, he thinks they can play with this club tonight. You know, this is a nice way to kick off the season, but I had some question coming in whether or not this game occurred too early in the Big Ten season because there has to be... I guess there has to be excitement about your Big Ten opener, and then there's even more excitement about playing your number one rival. There are a couple of players in gold uniforms that they must concern themselves with. Dugan Fife is one, superb outside shooter, as well as Jalen Rose and Jimmy King. Chris Wyshynski can't buy the three-pointer, no score. We're down to 18.53 here. Up-tempo game like we expected, and Jimmy King makes it 2 nothing. Jimmy King, in my estimation, may be the best athlete on this Michigan team. He can put the ball on the floor, create offense for himself, and is really explosive going to the basket. The highest winning percentage of any active coach in the NCAA tournament. And Michigan finally turns one over. That's their first. Rose is on Respert, and then Quentin Brooks bumps into it. And Brooks ties the game. Well, Brooks played really, really good D that time on Respert. Cut him off. <laughs> Forced Respert to have to give the basketball up and then was able to nail the shot himself. So we're even at a basket here. Michigan State comes home to play Illinois on Saturday. That's a Raycom telecast at 1 o'clock. Michigan showing good patience offensively. Spartans in the man-to-man -man here. Dugan fight for three. You know, Dugan fight for three basketball player and I think he's understanding it more and more each day that hey he's out there with the fab for sure but he belongs out there because he's sound in every in, in, in many areas Eric Snow for three and he bangs it all boy if they can get something out of him his average is only 5.8 per game now he's got three here in the first uh, just on that one basket he gets more than half his average cannot allow opponents to not play him or to feel that they don't have to play him on the offensive end that shot could go a long way and helping Michigan State open up that inside as well. Jalen looks for Jawan Howard on the double team inside. Puts it back. Nice pass up to Ray Jackson. He has two and it's 7-5. Although Polk just did miss. Michigan has never trailed. There's Dubin fight. And Wyshynski leads the break. Well, Michigan State so far, oh, they ball. Just a blast it away by Ray Jackson. Michigan has the numbers. Four on two. King, Jalen Rose. I talked a moment ago about the openings that you think you see against Michigan that close up very quickly. I thought Respert had a layup with the burst of speed. But Ray Jackson, his defensive quickness, negated it with a sensational block. Boy, the pace of this game has been extremely quick in the early going, which we suspected. Well, that pace is one that Michigan likes. They love to keep it fast. Quentin Brooks posts his man and knocks it down. Wow, Quentin looks very confident. Unfazed by this hostile crowd and this Chrysler Arena. All right, 15-12 to go, 9-7. We'll get a timeout here at the next whistle. And Jimmy King is left wide open, and he puts it up and in. Four for Jimmy King, and it's 11 to 7. And a whistle, and there's a foul inside, and that one will go against Eric Snow, and that should stop play here after a wild opening. But he got it 14 feet from the basket and then tried to create offense for himself. That's an area he must stay away from because he's not that good off the dribble. Sophomore Leon Derricks is in for the Wolverines for Jimmy King. Spartans throw it away again. It has been their bugaboo all season long turnovers. Inside, Jawan Howard is wide open. Jawan Howard has his first two. Now all of the Michigan starters have scored in the game, and Michigan State is running up turnovers at a fast pace. That's five turnovers on the Spartans, two on Michigan. Well, they're in line to go over their average, which is 18, and we have 13.50 to go in the first half, and they already have five. But they're only down six here. Michigan State has never led in the game. Damon Bethea against Jalen Rose. And nice shot by Damon Bethea. Knocks it up and in. Sophomore from Elkhart, Indiana, makes it 13-9. And the 
player they may add could transfer from Wake Forest. He's on the bench. Beautiful play by Eric Snow, who has just about hit his average here in the first seven minutes. And Greg, he's always played well against Michigan. Yeah, can only uh, only have to go back to the to last season to see that he had 18 points and 12 assists in one game against the Wolverines. So far in this game, Snow has shown the ability to hit the outside shot as well as take it in off the dribble. There's Westbrook getting his first three of this game. Three for Westbrook. Juwan Howard hit at the other end. He has four now, so the pace picks up and the Spartans have cut it to one. And that puts it back in Jalen Rose the other way. 17-14 now. And the Spartans turn it over for the sixth time. In an up-tempo game, you tend to turn it over more. But for the Spartans, this is a lot even by their standards. Here's Jalen Rose for three. The nation's leading career scorer as a junior now. Seven points for Rose. Six-point Michigan lead. Garvali, a little post move. No there, no one there. Dugan fight for the rebound. That last shot by Jalen Rose shows you his ability to shoot the ball from the outside. Had been criticized the first two years for being an ineffective outside shooter. I think Judd Heathcote just doesn't want to have turnovers right now. He wants quality shot attempts, and he'll... He'll play his chances with them going in, but he just doesn't want the turnovers right now. Eric Snow had to take it off a shot clock. Brooks nearly gets the tip, then he gets it back. And he might get an easy one. Quinton Brooks, six points for Michigan State. That was a break for the Spartans, and they cut it to four. Quite a nice pickup for the University of Michigan. Make no mistake about it, Scott Perry is a quality individual. All right, Steve Fisher screaming at his team to box out and rebound. Now Spartans have been getting some putbacks here. And they have a chance to tie the game or take the lead. With Shinsky still in there after going 0 for 5 from the field. Well, look at the defense by Jalen Rose. He dumps it off Anthony Miller, ties the game for Michigan State. First two for Anthony Miller. <laughs> but it was effective. 2020 here, 6 11 to go, first half. Miller has done a good job on Juwan Howard who has seven points here in the first half. He's averaging 19.7 a game. He must have hurt us because he shoots and scores. Well, now he's closer to his average with nine. 22-20, Michigan back up by two. Juwan Howard shooting that on a frozen rope. Double team on Quinton Brooks. He gets through, but can't quite get it to fall. Man, how did he extricate himself from that double team? Bobby Crawford for three, and he knocks it down. Freshman Bobby Crawford from Houston. That is Michigan's third three-pointer of the first half, and now quickly they're back up by five. Well, going back to the Boston University game for Michigan, Bobby Crawford is now five of five from the three-point territory, and that one was extra deep. 4.24 to go in a half. Wolverines by three. They have never trailed in this game. Still can fight. Man, he's all over the place. Jalen Rose drops it back up and it's laid up and in beautifully by Jimmy King. Well, there's a highlight reel shot. Brings the crowd to its feet again and it's Michigan by five. One of the reasons Michigan is such a tough team, these guys are all very unselfish. They don't worry about the stats, the scoring. They just want to put the points on the board and it really doesn't matter who gets it done. They pass the ball ex exceptionally well. Eric Snow jumps in, goes in the middle to Respert, who lays it up and in. That's an assist for Eric Snow and Sean Respert now with just five points in the first half, but his team is only down three. You know, I thought that Weber really set the tone for this team when he was here. Here's a guy that could really score well, but he got a lot of, a lot of uh, satisfaction out of getting the assist and I think it became contagious with the rest of the guys on this team and it remains so. This team will make the extra pass. Michigan. Re Westford's three no good. Juwan Howard now has 11 points in the first half. Michigan by five. A frantic pace here in the first half. But uh, that move is unstoppable, Greg. I mean, they're right in his face. But you know what? He has long arms and he really extends them on the shot. A deep three by Russell. Oh. Give him four points for that one. And that's eight points for Sean Russell. Judd Heathcote is screaming at Ted Valentine. He claims that Jawan Howard is pushing off. And there's a push inside and a whistle. And that foul goes against Michigan. Ray Jackson will pick it up. At six for Anthony Miller. He has the only free throw attempts in the game and he's made all four. 31-29. 
Again, stay with us at halftime. A lot of live interviews, including John Smoltz and Steve Avery. The Atlanta Braves are here tonight, sitting on behind the Michigan State bench. Dugan Fight for two. He has five. But Michigan State just creeps right up there, and then the Wolverines will hit a little spurt. As Judd says, they're a spurt team. But what Michigan State must continue to avoid is the super spurt by Michigan where they run off a 10-0 quickie on you, and, and the next thing you know, you're really fighting uphill. Now a whistle inside. Michigan State is 1-3 against the Fab Five so far, so this is the fifth meeting against that freshman class. And it looks to me, Greg, like you can tell without Chris Weber, they don't have the dominating presence, of course, a year ago to block those shots in the middle. Yeah, they don't scare you anymore. And it wasn't just Chris Weber, it was Eric Riley, too. Weber, of course, with the Golden State Warriors now, and Eric Riley playing with the Houston Rockets. Very true, and when they were in there together, I mean, you couldn't even see the basket. <laughs> Shot clock at four. Here's Eric Snow, and he knocks it down. Two-pointer for Eric Snow. What a first half. He has seven points. His average is 5.8. And again, the Spartans crawl to within two. Eric Snow, again, more confident offensively, but Steve Fisher has to like that. He's saying to himself, I know, hey, if Eric Snow is going to beat us with the outside shot, then, hey, we'll lose tonight. Jalen Rose with a seven now, and Michigan State will play for the last shot. If you're Steve Fis uh, Fisher, you just don't want Respert knocking him in from the outside because he can beat you, believe me. Shot clock is off. You can see the count them down with us. State will go down by five or fewer. Snow from three-point. Yes! No, they call it two. They call it two. Save was on the line. Nine points in the first half for Eric Snow. And the first half comes to an end. Judd Heathcote has to be pleased that his team has hung in there tough. They've made a lot of mistakes with 13 turnovers. But on the other hand, the Michigan Wolverines, who have never trailed in this game, walk off with a 36-33 lead. 13 points for Jawan Howard. Quinton Brooks has eight for the Spartans and nine for Eric Snow, who's always played well against Michigan. He's having a big first half tonight. We'll be back with our halftime activity in just a moment. Michigan 36, Michigan State 33. This is the Raycon Network. Michigan will inbound the basketball. Here we go, 20 more minutes. Michigan has been in the lead the entire game. I think that rebounding statistic is amazing. Michigan State doubling up on the Wolverines 19 to 10 in the first half. Well, Michigan State rebounding by committee. There's the steal by Eric Snow. Down the floor with Shinsky. He's over six. And he's one for seven. He finally hits one. I'll say this for Wyshynski. He has not backed off. He's kept going after it. You know what? He never backs down. I remember last year, he was the one that took the ball inside to try to win it in regulation for Michigan State, only to have his shot rejected by Chris Weber. Ray Jackson for the Wolverines. That's four points for Ray Jackson. Three-point game again. Now the teams will operate offensively in front of their own benches. Respert couldn't quite make the good feed, but Anthony Miller makes a great effort to get it back, and Brooks posts his man and scores. You know what? Brooks is allowing the offense to come to him. I don't think he's missed a shot. He's missed one shot in this game. He's 4-5 from the field. Jalen Rose hits the three. Every time Michigan needs a big basket, Jalen Rose is there to get it, and he has 10 points, two three-pointers. Anthony Miller, that's far for him, and it won't quite go. John Heathcote didn't like that shot selection. Four-point Michigan lead. Howard posts his man. Is that an NBA move or what? Well, he came into this league from high school with excellent post moves. Again, notice when he shoots the basketball where the ball is, way above his head. You're just not going to block that. Oh, man, these teams are hot here in the second half. Rusbert now. That's 10 for Sean. They just trade baskets here in the first two minutes. He has... He came into this game with 1,312 points. And that's, that's well on his way to passing Steve Smith, who's the number one scorer in school history right now. You know, a good put back in here. J uh, Ray Jackson, nobody boxed him out, and he now has six points. You know what? I think Michigan's going to pick up a foul in there, but they give him two or three. Steve Fisher didn't two. see that. It was two. He, he didn't see that. He was still chewing out Juwan Howard. 
but he has to be concerned right now because Respite is really starting to heat up. The defense they applied on him in the first half is not there now. Ray Jackson, nobody out from the weak side, and Jackson has six in the second half, eight for the game. Two players from Michigan collided and were late getting back defensively. Well, Jimmy King really banged his head. Respite for three, that doesn't quite go. And then Michigan State should have had the re and does get the rebound. Oh, beautiful give and go between Miller and Respert and Sean Respert pulls the Spartans to within one. Respert is on fire, but again, but Jimmy King and Leon Derricks bumped heads and both went to the floor. So Michigan State had a five on three advantage for a large part of that last sequence. Now Michigan State with a chance to tie the game or take the lead. Snow, boy, he could beat you with life and we're tied. He can beat you off the dribble. That's the thing, he has tremendous quickness. His jump shot from the outside, a major surprise, I'm sure, for Michigan. But I know they expected him to be able to take it off the dribble on occasion. He's Michigan. shown the ability to do that. Michigan State on a six-point run now, 47 all. 15-10 to go. Another close game from Chrysler Arena. Leon Derricks is 41 in there trying to set a screen. Shot clock is at six. Rose. And now with Shell, Wyshynski loses it. And Derricks is going to get in. He missed it. And Jimmy King will clean it up and score. I know one thing. The officials aren't letting them play because Derricks, he got hammered in there. And there was no call. Quentin Brooks shot is blocked by Jalen Rose from behind, but stolen by Snow and a whistle. And they'll call a foul, I believe, yes, against Eric Snow. Buckeyes won over Iowa by four last night. Miller is trying to hang on Juwan Howard here. Michigan still without a free throw attempt in this game, and we're 13-10. King for three. Jalen Rose back up, no. And Dugan Fife looking for someone alone. Howard, they've had three shots off the offensive glass. They're going to get a fourth shot. This is the first time that they have really been able to assert themselves on the glass. Give and go, Howard and Jimmy King. Nice play by the Wolverines. Ten points for Jimmy King. Second, second oldest play in basketball, the give and go. They're going to get Rusper back in the game. Three-pointer by Eric Snow, but he can't even believe it himself. <laughs> even he shook his head. 14 points for Eric Snow. Well, Michigan State really clamping down on the coach, which is leaving outside shooters like Dugan Fife, Jimmy King, and Jalen Rose open on the perimeter. Dugan that time knocking down the tray. There's the story here from Chrysler Arena. It's amazing, Greg, those December games just don't have the electricity of the Big Ten Conference games. Jawan Howard muscles his way and gets it to fall. That's exactly what he did off of a nice in-close feed from Jimmy King. 17 points for Jawan Howard. He's averaging 19.7. Michigan back to a six-point lead. Michigan is on a 9-3 run. Reverse shot, beautiful play by Sean Rusbert, who, as Greg said, is on fire in the second half. Now we're down to the 10-minute mark in the second half, and it's 56-52 Michigan. Wolverines still have never trailed. They look at Rusbert and Jalen Rose just pushing on each other inside. They want to get Anthony Miller something against Howard, who has the three fouls. Well, a little baseline move, and Miller kept working at it with not much shot clock, and Anthony Miller now has eight points. Same setup as the last miss, but Howard this time inside of Jalen Rose. And he is fouled by Wyshynski, who prevents an easy layup. Here are the first free throw attempts by Michigan tonight. They went 31 minutes and 10 seconds without a free throw attempt in this game. Jalen Rose averaging 21.5 points a game as Judd Heathcote looks on. I swear Jalen's shorts get longer 
each year. Yeah, and they got a new rule now, you know, in the high schools called the Jalen Rose rule about pulling those shorts. Up. I mean, he's almost got culottes on. <laughs> <laughs> you remember those, huh? Yeah, sure did. <laughs> Old as I am, I do. Look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now Fike is on Jawan Howard. All right, Howard on Fike again. Here comes the move. Double team foul on Eric Snow. That'll send to the line Jawan Howard. 64% free throw shooter, Jawan Howard. From Chicago, a junior. Seventeen points for Jawan tonight. You can see the numbers. Eight oh two to play. Plenty of time. Oh, that's the third free throw for Michigan tonight. Wolverines are three out of four. Rose in. Dugan five goes out. You can see, Greg, Michigan's got basically a seven-man rotation now in this half. Olivia St. John has not been in there. Jimmy King goes in. No good whistle foul, and Quentin Brooks got him. So here's Jimmy King on the line from Plano, Texas, 6'5", 201 pounds. The numbers are there. He has 10 points tonight, nearing his average. And again, it's a six-point Michigan lead. Michigan now with a chance to take its biggest lead of the game. Which could be critical as we wind down to the five-minute mark. We've got 5.15 to go in the game. Dugan fight for three. Remember that shot right there. Three three-pointers for Dugan fight. 11 for the game. And now it's Michigan's biggest lead of the night. 63 to 54 with 5.08 to go. They may have worn the Spartans down here a bit, Greg, in the last six minutes. Michigan on a 7-0 run right now, and their crowd is into it. Miller pounded inside of the foul. And oh. Ray Jackson gets it, and I think that's his fourth. That's four on Ray Jackson. Oh, He's I being guarded him. by a man with four fouls in Ray Jackson. Or Resper should drive inside. Or Brooks should drive inside. There it is to Miller. He's being double teamed by two players with four fouls. Somebody's open. Snow elects not to take it. Goes into the middle. And he's called for the offensive foul. That's a tough break. And that's four fouls on Aaron Snow. Hey, and Jack he's called one timeout. The courage of Ray Jackson. King, superb athlete, can score. Ray Jackson was the one player that decided to contribute by playing tough, a deep, tough defense. He's all over the place helping his teammates. Quite a player who's willing to sacrifice. But Eric Snow is in the game, so that injury he has shaken off. Howard posts his man and puts it up for him. Good move by Jawan Howard. 20 points for Howard. Michigan State turns it over. Biggest lead of the night for the Wolverines, who are now pretty much starting to put this one into control. 2.42 to play. Well, you know what happened? Michigan settled down a little bit, started working their half-court offense, started getting the ball inside and drawing fouls, whereas Michigan State has continued to try to push the ball and have turned it over. Oh, a three-pointer from Jalen Rose. 15 for Jalen, 68 to 56. Michigan State has scored two points in the last seven minutes. And those have been from the free throw line. They don't have a field goal for the last eight and a half minutes of this game. A lot of that is due to poor shot selection. And look how far they're being pushed out offensively right now with the shot clock coming down toward 10. Respert drives in, and he still can't get it to go. Then that time, it'll go down by Anthony Miller. Boy, that's a long dry spell that finally came to an end. 12 points for Miller. 10-point game with a minute 50 to go. And a deliberate foul here against Jackson from Quinton Brooks. They have to get them on the line. 68-58, minute 47 to go. There's Jason Bosser standing over, the only senior on this Michigan team, so you can see what they got coming back next year. Unless someone defects <laughs> to the NBA. Ray Jackson, free throw. Bosser, Bosser, one of the co-captains on this team. Nine points for Ray Jackson. There he is out of Charlotte, Michigan High School. Jason ba 69-58. Now Michigan again, that equals its biggest lead. 
Spartans a story in the game. They went cold here in the last eight minutes. And a whistle and a foul. And again, Michigan is having it all its way here in the final game. I think that might be five fouls on here. All right, he's resuited there. The haberdashery work is done. Here we go with the scoring totals now. Jalen Rose uh, getting closer, and he's had a good night with the rebounds. But Rose, his night has been consistent. Whereas Sean Respert scored many of his in a short span of time, and here lately, when Michigan State desperately needs some scoring, not only has Sean been shut out, but saved the garbage basket by Anthony Respert, excuse me, by Anthony Miller, that is, and Michigan State has been shut out over the last eight plus minutes. Dugan tonight with three three-pointers, and he has 11, now 12 points. Hey, Dugan belongs. He's even got the black socks on, like the rest of the Fab Four. You know, last year, I, I thought Michigan Though they played well as a team, was a team divided because you had the five five wearing the black socks, you had the rest of the team in white socks. It was almost as if they separated themselves. But everybody's in the same uniform and everybody seems to be on the same page this team. And that could spell big dividends for Michigan, especially when they go on the road in these hostile environments in the Big Ten. This is the first game Dugan Fife has ever shot in double figures. His career high was nine. He's got 13 tonight. And Jawan Howard goes in. That's an offensive foul. Well, and there's no basket, and that'll foul him out of the game. So Jawan Howard leaves with 73 seconds to play, but it may be too little too late. It was 47-47, and then Michigan said goodbye. Well, I don't think anyone expected Michigan State to come in and hold their own on the glass the way they did. They did a superb job in that area, but the turnovers have really been a big problem for them tonight. You just don't go on the road, turn the ball over 20-plus times, and win many games. Eric Snow doesn't want to foul him because he's got four. So Jalen Rose goes down the middle and then he is fouled. That'll send him to the line. Boy, he hit the floor hard. Now Dugan fights career high tonight, 13 points. And what a fine game he played, including three three-point baskets, and hey, that did it for him. Jalen Rose, uh, excuse me, Juwan Howard, he's still got the scowl on his face over there. Juwan, hey, the game's over. You guys are going to win your first Big Ten game. Smile. Well, he didn't have as much fun as you did. 21 points for Jalen Rowe. You just like to play it. But he has to feel satisfied, though. What does that say, Dr. J, on his arm there? Here's some fellows that will need showers after the game tonight, along with the Michigan players. So Rose with 22 points now. It's now all of a sudden a 17-point Michigan lead, and Jalen Rose will say goodbye. They will meet again February 5th in East Lansing. So the Spartans will fall to 9-4 and 0-1 and on the Big Ten. Respert has just struggled all night now in the second half to get your shot down. Well, I think this will be a good lesson for Sean Respert. He knows that he has to be on balance. He has to try and take up the space and make his, short, his shot a little shorter. And he'll be all right. We're in the final seconds of tonight's Big Ten basketball opener. It's cleanup time, and Michigan is going to go in with a big win. But Eric Snow adds to his total here. 16 points for Eric Snow tonight. 75 to 61. Eric Snow again, and that will do it. The Michigan Wolverines. And the three-pointer by Rusford is going to count. So that'll make it a little bit closer, but no more effective. As Steve Fisher shakes the hand of Judd Heathcote. Steve is now 5-4 and four against Judd Heathcote in nine meetings. And the Michigan Wolverines will walk out of here a 75-64 winner. Judd Heathcote's team played hard tonight, made a few too many mistakes, turned the ball over, rebounded well, but just could never get Craig over the top when they came so close, so close. And so it was a win for the Wolverines, who now move on to the second game of the Big Ten season. And there's Jalen Rose and Eric Snow. They congratulate each other on a well-played hard game tonight. Let's see. Northwestern 67. Is that a final? I don't. Is that a final? Purdue is either leading or beat Northwestern 68-67. That's the only other Big Ten game tonight. We'll be back to wrap things up here from Chrysler Arena in just a moment after we pause for these messages. <laughs>